How's it guys? This is Grand Leech and welcome to my channel. Um, this is glossy number 13 that we are trying go gonna try and beat. Um it's quite a huge glossy guys. Get on your horse, get out your bow and arrow. Because that's the th first thing you're gonna need. Um you're gonna see that this glossy's got these white sacks or balloons under its body um, you're gonna have to puncture them um, and I think each section takes about two to three arrows um, for them to collapse and as soon as they collapse um, that glossy will lower itself to the ground and yeah then you can try and get on top of it that's a whole different story but it's much easier than the previous glossy, the, the sand glossy, snake sand, sand snake, whatever. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, it depends from person to person. But uh, this one was not that difficult for me. It takes a little while to kind of get it to the ground. Um, because it makes a lot of turns and, you know it makes it a little bit difficult for you to get on top this is the easiest part guys is to collapse or damage those sacks I don't know whether you call it sacks balloons underneath his body and now you need to charge for the front Okay, there you go. All you need to do now is wait for it to lower itself. And then, as you can see, those fins are touching the ground. The thing is, you need to get on top of or close enough to those fins to actually jump on top of one of them, hold on for dear life, and get on top of that um, glossy. The thing is, if you get too close to it, your horse gets scared. So, yeah. It is quite a task. <laughs> and if you jump too early, like you just saw there, then you're gonna, you know, obviously need to get on your horse again and try to get to the front. Um, I don't think he's gonna lift himself up again until you're at least on his back and have damaged one of the three emblems or weak spots on his back so you know he stays on the ground as far as i'm concerned until you can at least get on top of him the thing is um sooner or later he dives into the sand again and those sacks regenerate and then you need to puncture it again and yeah do it all over again as you can see guys i mean obviously that was a silly move from my side um, but it's difficult to just get your angle right and get on top of this glossy and i've tried quite a bit i mean i've been busy for a while trying running off to this glossy and trying to get on top of him and it didn't move back up into the air over here i was just lucky as you can see, I mean, that was pure luck. And as soon as you're on top of him, um, take out your sword and then you start looking for those weak spots. His weak spots are behind, he's got three extra fins on his back, as you can see. Um, you can see now, those are fins right in front of you, and behind them are the um, weak spots so you need to go and get it over there i've tried even if you hide behind them i thought they would um, actually protect me um, when he dives back into the sand but it doesn't do that um, it actually just pushes you off from his back 
so don't waste your time on hopeful things that's not gonna happen guys if he drops into the sand again then um obviously you're gonna have to get on your top of your horse again and damage those sacks underneath him and then do it all over again i mean it can take you three times to do it i think it took me three times so you damage one emblem he dives into the sand you have to get on top of the, him again as you can see well i edit it out because you know i don't want to waste you guys time as you can see that front fin just closed so that means he's going to take a dive but i just edited that out for you guys so that you can just see what you need to do to defeat this class those fins are open again take out your sword and then you just stab it again I'm at the fin in the middle, I think, of him, so let's just damage that, and then there's one, one left. Yeah, I went to the front, and now the middle part is left. As you can see, I tried over there to just see, like I said, if it's going to protect me, if if he dives, that um, he's, that fin's going to protect me against the sand, um, but it doesn't. Maybe I was just too far away from it. So here comes your horse and you'll have to get on top of it again. I think it stays under the sand for a few seconds. So don't look for it in the air because it's going to dive from the sand. Well, not dive, but come from the sand towards the air again. And then those sac sacks are going to be regenerated. But at least guys, now after this one, we've got only got three glossy left. And that's, we're almost there. We're almost there. Don't give up. We're almost there. I think I would say the the colossus that were the most difficult for me to try and figure out what to do was the one that's that snake in the sand and then um, uh, I would say number um, I think that's number 10 and then i would say number three was quite difficult for me i mean i really struggled with that one and then i would say um the lion one that's glossy number 11 and then yeah i think that's it those ones were a little bit challenging for me oh and the first one the one that moves real quick that one was actually just pain in the ass. This one is just, this one takes time to de defeat. That's timing and it takes time and effort. Don't get angry and frustrated with your rules. <laughs> because this thing makes sharp turns. And as soon as you close to that fin, it will turn into a different direction. And then you need to run quite a bit before you get to the right spot to get on top of it again. Jump. If you jump too low, as I think you're gonna see it here. Well, I just lost grip and fell off. But if you jump too low, um, the sand will push you off as well. So you can't grip on the lower part of that fin. Um, you probably can, 
but it's difficult to hold on and make a jump to get higher the, the sand is in the way so you need to get close enough to actually jump quite high on that fin I mean the first time I got on top of it was actually just pure luck um, but yeah when you do it this way around we need to get on top of that fin and that's the right way to do it um, then you know jump higher now I thought by standing on my horse I can actually jump higher but then the horse is not running that fast so. There's confirmation of basically everything I said when you get too close to that fin. And the shark turns. It takes you a while to get on top of this glossy, eh? But it's worth it. Run, run, run. Well, at least today is Friday. So, oh, thank the Lord. I am so tired of the, after this week and I can't wait to upload some new videos on my YouTube channel. Yeah, and probably, well, I'll help you guys out a bit, the Colossi fans, Shadow of the Colossus fans. Um, I'm in quite of a pickle there because I'm struggling to hold on. Oh boy. It lifted up into the air. Well, it, at least it helps me. Um, yeah, and I hope I can upload a whole lot more videos for you guys. Please go check out my other videos that I made on how to defeat each Colossi in Shadow of the Colossus. And also my preview hashtag review of Shadow of the Colossus. And then I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to play next, guys. Uh, I'm kind of playing uh, Farming Simulator 90 right now, just to keep myself busy. Um, yeah, Joe says it's Farming Simulator because he totally hates it. Um, I like it, it keeps me busy. Okay, guys, well, that is... Glossy number 13. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to subscribe and like and hit the bell button. And off we go to Glossy number 14. This is Grand Leech. And I hope you guys enjoy your day. Over and out. <laughs>